Yo guys, Ponchi here, and today we're going to use our external synths with our Octatrack Mark II. Let's go. Okay, first things first, let's start a new project. Okay, go to project, uh, change, yes. Create empty project. Boom. I'm not going to name it anything. We'll just name it that. Okay, here we go. So first things first, I have my synth plugged into input C on the Octatrack. So we need to set up a, a way for the audio to come into the Octatrack. So the way we do that, go ahead, double tap on T1. Oh, no, you can double tap on source. Make sure you have uh, track one selected. Go down to through, bam, through. Now you need to select your input. I have it in input C. So you wanna just select C. Go ahead and turn the volume all the way up. And so now you have it set up so that way the audio will come through track one on input C. So you have the audio all set up. So now go to MIDI. This is how you access all the MIDI tracks. You have eight MIDI tracks along with your eight audio tracks. So this is where things can get confusing. First things first, double tap source. So Chan, this is where you're gonna set the channel, the MIDI channel of your external synth. Right now I have a Mother 32 hooked up. So by default, the Moog Mother 32 uh, responds to channel one. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can press yes, or you can tap this encoder, bam, and then that goes away. Cool. And then uh, for example, if you have, I also have a Moog Minitar, which has presets. If you wanted to use those, you can use program over here program will allow you to choose all your different uh, presets so that's a pretty cool feature okay so that's all we need to do for here so just press no to get out of there so as you can see if you press the note we have signal coming through here so the one thing you have to do in order for the audio to come through is you have to lay a trig on your through track so once you lay that trig and then you press play to get out of record mode, go back to MIDI mode. There you go. Now we are in chromatic mode. You press function and up or down to get to chromatic mode. And the thing about chromatic mode is this is supposed to represent a keyboard. All the ones that are lit up represent the white keys. So now that you have the audio set up, you have your MIDI set up, now you can start sequencing. So easiest way, I mean, of course, you know, just start laying some trigs. And then if you want to go in, you can uh, hold each trig and assign a different note to it. Bam, and there you have it. You have successfully sequenced your external MIDI synth with your Octatrack. Now, you know, there's tons of stuff you can do with this, but, uh, you know, hopefully that gets you guys started. If you have any requests for any other stuff regarding uh, sequencing external synths, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and uh, maybe make another video about it. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you next time.